In this lesson, I am going to show you how to install the Thai Shadow program, uh, which we saw in a previous podcast. The installation that we're going to do will only work for Mac OS. I uh, haven't verified an installation for Windows uh, as of yet. Uh, we're going to be doing two parts, installation of a server code and then installation of a mobile app. So the first thing we need to do is download Node.js, install that. We'll be using that to then um, install the Thai Shadow program, uh, the server piece of it. Okay, so let's start with um, finding the proper distribution for Node.js. Uh, you can get uh, Node.js at uh, nodejs.org slash dist. There's a bunch of distributions here. The one that I've found that works the best is zero. 6.9 uh, and if you're running um, a Mac then you'll need to get the .pkg uh, if you're running running Windows the .msi. Uh, I've already downloaded that and um, I have that in a directory. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Um, now so um, I think I put it into documents Thai shadow here. Okay, so here's the uh, uh, node program. You start that up, it'll give you an install program, uh, and you just click up through all of this. Um, And it's a fairly quick installation, doesn't take that long to do. Okay. So once you've installed that, um, you do need to um, execute uh, a download command, or actually a download installation command. This is this npm, uh, and that will go fairly quickly as well. You do need to have pseudo writes on the machine that you're doing this with. So, I'm going to go ahead and install that. Okay, and then while that's installed, actually, it looks like it's it's done. Okay, so it's it's done. So um, once uh, we've installed that, uh, we can run the server part of the um, of Thai Shadow, and that's simply Thai Shadow server. You run that and then it'll give you a command here or it'll give you a message here saying that you can go to uh, this URL. Okay, so that completes the first piece of what we need to do to install and use Thai Shadow. The second piece is a little more complicated. Uh, the second piece is the uh, installation of the actual app. Um, so we're going to uh, go to this GitHub directory and download Thai Shadow and um, that's uh, at this URL, uh, GitHub Debankier, I believe that's how you pronounce it, um, slash Thai Shadow. Uh, and then uh, just do a download of the zip file. Um, there's a number of directories and things that will be installed or that will be um, contained within that zip file. Um, and I've already downloaded this um, to save us some time. And I have that here in this directory. Okay, so I'm going to unzip that. And what we end up getting then is a number of different uh, uh, files. We need this mobile SDK piece of it. So I'm going to pull that out of there and unzip it. And this has a number of directories um, that we need for the install. So here's this directory here. So we want everything that's contained in this directory, especially this tie shadow directory, and we need to put that into one of the, our library directories on our machine. So I'm going to uh, do this should go underneath my home directory under libraries. Uh, here it is, library. 
and I'm going to go ahead and click on that, go under application support and titanium. And then under mobile SDK, uh, under OSX, there's a number, these are all the different mobile SDKs that are included. I just want to add Tai Shadow to that directory. So I'm going to take that, drop it into the OSX directory, and then it's, it's, it's added. Okay. Uh, one thing about uh, this library directory, by the way, so uh, that doesn't normally show up in, uh, in Lion. Uh, and if you do have line, then you're going to want to execute the following command. Change flags, new hidden library. That'll unhide it. Actually, I believe if I type hidden, that'll hide that directory for me again. That's correct. Yeah, so it's hidden again. And if I type new hidden, left it revealed. Yeah. Okay. Now that I'm done with it, I can hide it again. Actually, <laughs> I need that directory. I need to go back into this titanium directory. Because uh, there's actually one more piece. We need to add some modules to this directory. And um, to do that, uh, we need to copy from the app directory these modules. So there's modules for uh, Android and modules for iPhone. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it into this titanium directory and then just unzip it. Uh, it's added a modules one directory, it didn't actually overwrite. So I need to just take this iPhone directory and put it into modules. I can get rid of this modules one directory. I can get rid of this at file. And then the same thing with this, uh, this other one. I'm just going to unzip it in place here. Actually, I need to take this com YY digital zip. I need to put it into the Android directory. OK. All right. So anyway, um, these modules. Uh, we needed to add it. We needed to add those to the modules directory under Titanium, and then the same thing with uh, the mobile SDK. We needed to move that to the uh, mobile SDK directory. Okay, so it looks like that's all done. The last thing, final thing that we need to do is we need to uh, import the app into uh, Titanium. So let me do that. These anymore. And I'm going to do the following. I'm going to let me do this. Um, do import. Actually, I want to. Titanium Studio, no, it's not there, Titanium. I'm going to take this app directory and just drop it right in there. And then finally, we're doing import of an existing Titanium project um, under this Titanium is here. And then I'm going to go to Titanium, select app. I should probably rename that at some point. And then click on finish. 
And so I'm going to go ahead and rename it now. Cloth Tie Shadow. And now we should be all ready. So um, I need to make sure that I start the server. And I can run this now in the simulator. So this will just take a moment to uh, uh, to start up in the simulator and. Um, while it's doing that, I'm going to bring up another browser window here, and I'm going to go to localhost. And uh, since I've started up the server, what's going to happen is the, uh, the web browser is going to uh, attach to that, uh, uh, to that port. And what we have now is um, this is our, our little prototyping window that we saw in our previous podcast. Um, and uh, we're waiting for the uh, simulator to come up now with the, uh, with the app so that we can actually uh, display our output in the simulator. Um, Again, just bear with me here. This will take uh, just another moment for that. But anyway, this is the uh, this is the window where our code gets typed in, and then here's our console, uh, which will display any messages that are um, that are sent, um, especially if we're sending messages with uh, the uh, the info command. Um, and here we now have the uh, simulator up. Um, let's see whether everything is. Correct, so connect to local computer. I'm going to type localhost. I don't know if I need to provide the port number or not. I might need to just, it might just be the, might just be localhost. Let's be just localhost. All right, connected. Okay, cool. Uh, and you see here now that uh, the device is showing is connected. Um, just real quick, let me type in a command in here so we know that we're actually getting something for a win equals ti.ui.create window. And our label equals ti.ui.create label text hello world and win.add label win.open and send code. And there it is. Uh, kind of looks like it hasn't quite cleared the things that are there. Let's see, let me change that. Background color. There. So, Anyway, so that's um, that's the entire process from uh, downloading and installing and to running. So, again, just to uh, summarize, uh, we downloaded the uh, the Node program so that we can install the server. Uh, downloaded the TI app, uh, the TI Shadow app, and uh, and then put the uh, custom SDK and the modules in the library directory. Anyway, that completes this lesson.